Right. Thank you. And the Salvation Army. Okay, myself have been through the Pentecost and the Salvation Army. But I never was learnt or taught about the Sabbath. Right. The real origin of what the reason behind the Sabbath. So I was asking you now, do you know the original thing or what the, what are the requirements we're supposed to do on the Sabbath? Sabbath is Uh-huh. That's it? Thank you. I worship on the Sabbath. And that's it? So let me, okay, so let me ask you another question. How long you was in the church? I So all, so I, I don't know how old you is. Probably gonna pass fifty. But as, okay, you know the Almighty. You know the Almighty. He's in your heart. Alright, we do a lot of things. We do one thing at a time. We start we attack with the Sabbath and you say that you you love the Almighty and He's in your heart. So that's about three things. We do the Sabbath. We give the Sabbath. Exodus chapter 20 verse 8. Exodus chapter 20 verse 8. Remember the Sabbath day. No. The Bible says remember the Sabbath day. Right? Come on. To keep it holy. No. Holy is a special word. Let me find out the meaning of holy, Leviticus, Leviticus 20 and 26. We find out the origin of what are the meaning of holy. Read. Leviticus chapter 20, verse 26. Come on. And ye shall be holy unto me. You hear the Bible say, Ye shall be holy unto me. Come on. For I the Lord am holy. I am Lord and holy because he's special. He's only for the Israelites. Come on. And I severed you. Severed means separate you from the other nations. Come on. From other people. From other people. Not cyclops or aliens or, and, or, or cre other creatures. He means other race of people. Right? That ye should be mine. That the possessive word. So holy, throughout the Bible, a peculiar or special means special, separate, asunder, servant from the other nations. Right? So go back to Exodus 20 and verse 8. Exodus chapter 20, verse 8. Remember the Sabbath day. So remember the Sabbath day, which is today. So you should remember the Sabbath day. Come on. To keep it holy. To keep it separate from the other nations. Because the other nations could do what they feel like. They could buy, sell, do their feel like. But the laws was only given to the Israelites and no other else. Come on. Six days I don't labor uh -huh. and do all thy work. So only six days the week starts what? On a Sunday. We work not on the calendar. The week starts from a Sunday. So Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. How much days that is? That's six days. So what you supposed to do on the sixth day? But before we go there, we find out where they originally came from now. Genesis 2 and 2. Genesis chapter 2 verse 2 On the Sabbath day God in his work Wait. Because on the Sabbath day Since there God had ended his work But what he do on the Sabbath day? Come on Which he had made And he rested On the Sabbath day So God had rested on the Sabbath day God said Remember This thousand years after But he tell you to remember Because the laws was given to Adam from the beginning Remember the Sabbath day so you read verse 11 on Exodus, right? 20 and 11? Yeah. All right, good. So give me Genesis, um, Exodus 35 and 3. Thank you for your time. Because we're here to teach you people. Look, we have got no, we have no cups. Or no, no offering here to ask for no money. This Bible was only to count to teach you people for free. We ask for no money. Right. Read. Exodus chapter 35, verse 3. Uh -huh. He shall kindle no fire. So what it things that you're supposed not to do on the Sabbath? What? He shall kindle no fire uh -huh. throughout your habitation. Throughout your habitation where you live and we're in captivity today. So we're in captivity. God said you ain't supposed to kindle no fire on the Sabbath day. Meaning turn on the park, start in the fire to cut. Read. Upon the Sabbath day. On the Sabbath day. But it means that you're on the Sabbath day. You know not going to eat anything. God gives peculiar things to do. He guided you. I explained to you. Give me that. So all the years that was in church, they never even taught you all that. I explained this is the whole you're supposed to keep the Sabbath. You Exodus, know? chapter 16, verse 5. Here it is. And it shall come to pass. And it shall come to pass. Come on. That on the sixth day. So no, you're on the sixth day, the Friday evening. We don't go by time. We go by the, the sun when you don't call up. The seven days is based off of the time. And on around Christmas time, spring, spring time, we um, winter time. Also, just get that around five o'clock. 
So you're going to base off the sun and the moon, right? Right? And it shall come to pass that on the sixth day, uh -huh, the they day. shall prepare that which they bring in. And it shall be twice. It shall be twice. You will eat now, and you will eat tomorrow. Leave on for tomorrow. Come on. As much as they get it daily. Right. So as much you will get it daily, you will only cut for today and Monday. You will only cut today and Tuesday. But you see when the Friday come, you will do twice to prepare for today and say tomorrow. Remember, the scripture says in Exodus 35 verse 3, you shall not kind of no fire. So just know the verse 23 now. Verse 23 and uh, Exodus 16. And he said unto them, this is that which the Lord have sent. Tomorrow is the rest of the Holy Sabbath unto the Lord. So tomorrow is the rest unto the, the, the Sabbath on the Holy Mosai. Come on. Be it that which he will be today. So be it that what you will be it today. So remember, and up to verse 5 said, prepare you do twice, mean twice, what you will normally do for the other days. Because what? You gonna remember the Sabbath day. Meaning that your spot can do no fire. So you gotta prepare. When the hurricane coming, what's the common thing the so-called business does? Or anybody does? When, when something coming? Run and buy everything. But that's not a regular thing that is done. They only do it because that's something that was noticed that came and said, there's a storm will be coming. So you know what? Automatically, you know what to do. Right? You know when you go to the supermarket and buy eight kind of fools, three bag of rice, Bring it out. all sorts of things, rip all blemish things. That's and you know what? You see where you can do that, you can do what you want say, uh, tell us to do. So it tell, yesterday when it ain't to the Sabbath, we're supposed to prepare, right? So that's it on that. No. We'll see? That which you will sit, uh -huh. and that which will never over, lay up for you to be kept until the morning. So lay up what you'll be kept for tomorrow morning. So like, you feel hungry now, you will go bite which or you be it. So you could do sandwiches, you could uh, do cheese peas, you could do tuna. Until the sun go down, you could turn up. You remember the oat? You, I know probably might said it. You, you want the pot turn over to the end. What that means? Not cooking. That is same here. That's all right. Pop turn over today. Right. So, but but don't go home and run it now because it's the Sabbath. That's all right. But what you will live over today is be it, you will be like bread, cake, things that you can store and eat it with what in normal room temperature. Ah, but you were doing that growing up, but that's the original thing you're supposed to do. That the original thing you're supposed to do. This Sabbath was for who? Give me uh, Mark 2 and 27. The Sabbath, we was for the Sabbath, or the Sabbath for me? We find out know here. Mark 2 verse 27. Come on. And he said unto them, The Sabbath was made for a man. The Sabbath was made for man. And not man for the Sabbath. And not man for the Sabbath. Meaning, the man is supposed to really do what he wants. Everybody condoning this man for the Sabbath. The Sabbath was made for the man. You understand? Who the Sabbath is? Who is the Sabbath? You like Christ? You like Christ? You love God? Alright, here it is now. Give me my fifth talk. That's it. Oh, Alright, go ahead. Therefore, the Son of Man is Lord also of the Sabbath. You hear that? Are you hearing another word to that? Give me my fifth talk in verse 8. My fifth talk in verse 8. So Christ is the Sabbath. So you love Christ. You will do what he tell you to do, right? Come on. Matthew 12, verse 8. For the Son of Man is Lord even of the Son of Man. Son of Man, who is the Son of Man? Bobby, you know who is the Son of Man? You don't know. See? The pastor has fear. The pastors of today has fear. The best of understanding who is the Son of Man. Alright, no worry, moms. You will hear it today. You're going to learn today. That's right. Matthew, that is 16, verse 13. When Jesus came into the when, place, when, when who? When Jesus. You hear that word? When Jesus, come on. Came into the course of Caesarea Philippi. Uh -huh. He asked his disciples. He asked his disciples. Come on. Whom do men say that I, the Son of Man, am? So what? He re he referred his servant, the Son of Man. That's right. We can't talk. We can't talk birds with one stone. Meaning as they say that Christ is God. But yes, who is the son of my? I am the son of Larry. That's my father. So I can't be my father.
nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. Strong in the Lord, his word.